technology now, eh? Yeah, yeah. Man bring your own, he brought his own camera. No, no, that we, we having some All difficulty, right. so we're rebooting that. So while that's going on, we will do that for next week. The technology will. Next week. Fail. fail. It didn't fail. Pe technology can't fail, people fail. People fail. I failed. So. I it, failed. And unlike your prime minister, I will take responsibility. Oh. You read that headline, bloody UNC. Express it, play they stink and dirty with yourself. I mean, Kid Rowley was wrong for the statement to begin with. But he expressed to take it and make it a headline, bloody UNC. I mean, they play nasty politics and all of this is just to distract the public from the reality. You've left that little burnt boy's body on the side of the road and made it about politics. It's unfortunate, but you know, there are some things that are finding itself out of the woodwork now. Um, from the point of view of speculation, and it's quite possible that it's not reality. It could be just fi fiction. They are now saying the young man wasn't kosher. He wasn't really, you know, like some grandparents. My grandson is a good boy. He never do anything wrong in his life. That kind of, um, you know what, what should I call it? You know what upsets me? That that is the conversation, and I tell you why. Because the absence of leadership and the absence of information or communication from any arm of state leaves us to speculate. And people could say the most disgusting things about yeah, other people. Sure, yeah. And we've seen that. We can't know. This boy could be an acolyte. It's true. His mother don't have access to the, to the power of social media that others may have. So it's easy to denigrate and castigate and make people out to be all kind of demons. And I wouldn't say no. I wouldn't say that it is not possible that it couldn't have been so. But the conversation doesn't start there. The conversation then starts, how did he end up so? What is failing in this society that young men with so much potential, that could become their outcome? Murderers, if he was, burnt and dead on the Saturday road in Trumacac. How could that have been his fate? When he was born, how could that, how could we as a nation have failed so badly that that is who he became. Okay, but, but Philip, you know... No, but you, I, said, you keep asking, where do we start? Yeah. And you must always ask the question, how did this young man okay. end up there? That is a position of an after-the-fact position. That, when I, by that I mean, you fornicate, um, things got heated, is, you, this, is you, this birds and the bees? You did not cover up. Is this up? the birds and the bees story? We've no, had it. No you, We've didn't, had you, it. no, you didn't cover up. We've had the story. Um, you are exhilarated you, and exhausted. You got into biology and I'm talking about sociology. No, but I, I, biology and sociology are friends. So, biology now the woman sociology. three months down the road called you and say, Philip, I'm pregnant. We do not know how this young man was brought up. It is a after the And that's my point. The, wait, the pregnancy has nothing to do with it because he was conceived and he was born. And I'm not disputing that. No, he was conceived and he was born. Yeah, okay. And parents are responsible for their children, okay, yes. Okay, And the word is, we wait, started there. Wait, where, wait, where, no, no, where, no. where is his parents in wait this Wait a minute, wait a minute. Because you're a parent. And you have had the fortune of not being a parent in a low-class, desperate community. And I'm not trying to make excuses for people. No, no you're making excuses. No, no, because you see, your children, no, didn't have, your children didn't have people looking over the fence trying to encourage them in gang business, and they was hungry, the question, and they had no choice. That is not true. That is not true. Because my eldest son... No, no, no. Don't expose nobody business. No, forget it. Don't facts. expose nobody business. Picked up my car and went limbing at night when he didn't have a license. That's a different thing. That is privileged people's problem. No, that is not privileged people. That was a mistake in my upbringing of him. No, of course not. It is. You did the same. I did what? I never take my father car and went Robert, anywhere Robert, with Robert, it. Listen, all of us happy and lucky. The fa my father car, when I take it, and I was coming from Maracas, coming around the corner, I get distracted even, and I bounce the car. Even Jesus Christ made mistakes. <laughs> no, I didn't take the car. I had permission to use the car. Even Jesus Christ made mistakes in his life, and there's a difference. No, 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 you same. can't say that. You Jesus, can't say that. When Jesus, Jesus, when Jesus said, nobody the table, the only people on the other side thought it was well up. <laughs> We're not in the comic, in the comic world yet today. Eh? No, 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 but just see. In the real world. But I want to say this, that this little boy, I mean, there's a, let us refer in there's, a television, all right, there's a television series called Shameless. Yes. 
that everybody should see. You know why? Tell me. Because it's a white family mm. going through immense poverty. And they're white as the driven snow. Okay. So you can't make it a racist thing now ethnic. and say it's a black thing. Ethnic. You come with the ethnic, but last week you say racist and I was going to call me, you out. Not me. Kevin. Never me. Kevin. Never me. Never anyway, me. Anyway, we will stick up in. Ethnic. We will stick up in tribal. <laughs> call it tribal if you want. Tribal. All right. I accept tribal, but not racist. The TV series, and I am recommending to everybody in the world, is the best writing and the best directing and the best acting I've ever seen that has portrayed mind-numbing poverty and all the things that people go through when they are that desperately poor and the choices and how quickly you go from normal to disaster when you do not okay, have hold, the safety hold on, net hold on, hold on, robot hold on, hold your on. children have the safety net of you correct but these children don't it didn't say money you hear what you said have the safety net of the father or the mother correct my question to you is where are the parents of this child that is not enough you that is the starting point i am broadcasting live on social media the same social media that is being used to lead people astray okay. information exists information exists and what 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 protects everybody from misinformation is having access and I, I agree with you having access to parenting that could take care of them but if you were in a situation where you needed to work two and three jobs to feed your children and they had no access to you could I still blame you? Okay, but let's... Could I still blame you? Yes, you still have to blame me. But you're not there because you're doing the right thing. No, why am I good? Why, why do I have the two, two or three jobs? How much children I have? You have five. How much? Should five. I? Should I? Was I responsible at you that see, time to breed the woman five times? But I want to tell you this. You no, know, no, no, no. Answer that question That first. is eugenics. You're living that has nothing to do with you. You're living in a society where people are supposed to be inheritors and heirs to the third wealthiest nation in the Western world. That is not the issue. How do we have people so poor? How? How we have it so How we have 700,000 people in this country that is worth billions of dollars living below the poverty line and we question because it. Because we have we 250,000 of those people we who it? came here we because they were not planned. We question how white people breed. That is why the nah, Chinese man. did what they did. They realized that this was getting out of hand and the Chinese man at the top turned around and tell his people, hear what? Put a clip on the head at, at the, after they had a billion people that is correct but he Ch didn't make Ch it Ch a billion Ch he, didn't allow, he didn't allow it to run past we only have one he didn't allow it to run past poverty is not the crime what is the crime here oh, is that you are in a society the crime here is that a woman who cannot afford to bring up a child and marshall montano song this year says it all well, but we live in a country where we reward in criminality that is not the issue when they took a million dollars and handed to marshall montano for singing that drivel that's a crime okay you call could it make, that is a crime you could make that the issue the if you disproportional want. Don't be jealous of marshall. because you can't whine and gyrate like marshall you don't, don't be you jealous don't because know that you do do not know that for you a fact. That you do not know that for a fact. From the waist down, I have a different heritage. So, <laughs> you might say you have a different heritage, man. Hello, 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 hello. Let us take a pen in the conversation. Get it out of hand. No, but let's come back. I do agree with you in blaming okay, people. Okay, that's okay. Children. We disagree. You don't have to agree. Children, we disagree. You don't have to agree. This is not about agreeing. This is about dialogue. This is about discussion. This is about putting different things on the table for people to resonate, listen, okay, and reflect. Okay, but if you live in a society where the system allows people to steal money and get themselves into a high that class... Is not the, how does stealing any money allow a woman to make four unwanted children and she cannot even mind the first one? Because they've stolen her money. What is her money? They've stolen her chance at a life. They've stolen if her... If she only had one, would she have a better chance? There will come a if time... If she only had one, would she have a better chance? There will come a time... If she only had when one would she, she would she not have even, a better chance well not even one would be affordable there will come a time if we don't fix this oh. not even one would be affordable robert face you this. are no i'm not facing face anything this. because you there like all politicians 000. running away from the reality hey. you are afraid you're just like the politicians. you spent you spent 
90 billion dollars on national security in the last 10 years. At the end of the day, you spend that money. Okay. You spend 90 billion dollars on national security in the last 10 years. Okay. What do you have to show for it? Right. 90,000 million dollars. No, that's, let's talk reality. Okay. Let's put so, that. So, let's so, so, stick no, okay, up in. Okay. Stick up in. Mm. Take 90,000 million dollars and put that in social management policies. Okay. Give all those people a start at life. Bring back all those ambassadors and high commissioners and tell them we have too many of our people underemployed or unemployed. We need gainful jobs. The, that is the purpose of government, to make sure that all of your people are actualized and have an opportunity to you know, maximize you, their full potential. You, you know the that problem, little black you, boy did not have to end up so. You, that little black boy did not have to end up so. I agree. Good. I am not disputing that. We disagree who we blame what, what I am saying... We disagree who we blame No, no, no. Again, ninety billion dollars over ten years is nine, for national 90, security. Thousand million. Okay, call it what you want. And we talked this already. I tell you that we find a way to find five million dollars and put it on a box and let people see what it really is, so they can resonate in the head, so people can understand. When they see this, what they five million dollars, my. Because if you ask a normal poverty-stricken person in Trinidad and Tobago to explain what is a hundred thousand, they cannot explain it. And that's why I they tell, have never seen that's it. That's why I tell Trinidad that the money the PNM and the UNC pick up and rescue Dupre and partners with for stealing all the money from <clears> Pico, <throat> that twenty-five billion dollars could have built two hundred and fifty thousand houses in this country. Wait, two hundred and fifty thousand houses. The twenty-two billion dollars interest-free because he pay no interest on our bailout. So if that money was in Chase Manhattan Bank, we'd be getting $22 billion in interest by now. That's our next 200,000 houses. This country has been ridden hard and put away wet by a lot of these fakes, these masquerading politicians, these puppets of the contractocracy that have been using crime and criminality to steal public funds for far too long. And it is ending in this as our reality. We hear you, I hear you, everybody hears you. But like all politicians Robert say everybody hears me. You are at the point you are at the point where you're talking regurgitated. That you can't say that. Terence Farrell Terence Farrell told Keith Rowley, take this job and shove it. I want to tell you I something. For that. Absolutely. I sent to the Prime When a Minister man like Terence Farrell, night. Robert. Yeah. When a man like Terence Farrell and say, say, see, you see what? You see this? I sign up for this. The thing is that he did tell him that months ago, saying, I have given you all of this when information. Mikey Phillips and you have done told, when Michael Phillips mm -hmm. told Daryl Smith, you see this? I ain't sign up for this partner. And quit. We have men of integrity in this country, you know. Well, they're showing themselves slowly, but we sure. have men of integrity in this country. And Kevin, I think you should find a round of applause for Terence Farrell and Michael Phillips. Because people need to stand and applaud those of integrity who say to the nation, we didn't sign up for that. And I want to agree. I said to you, you know the difference between you and me? It's when I saw the information that came out of the Prime Minister's office where he accepted the resignation. It was a fait accompli. What he could I, have done? I responded. What he could have done? No, no, no. I responded saying, congratulations, Daddy. I can't remember exactly, but I was very sarcastic in Absolutely. my reply. Because at the end of the day, the man tell you six months, eight months ago, hear what? I really look like I wasted my time. You put me in as the Economic Development Advisory Board Chairman. To waste my time. And I am coming to, to you. Stunt. I am coming you to you with information. Up. You held me up as a, as a peaceholder. And these fellas don't take that work. You see Daryl Smith and Randall Mitchell and them. They just, they are the age and the stage where they want to stunt. Even Franklin can't marriage mash up. Oh gosh, boy. These fellas here. It looked like it's really a it's matrimonial a, disaster no, in the PNM. It's not that. You see, these people, these people, these people have. Where are you talking? You married? Not yet. Uh, I'm, I'm a woman. I'm a woman. Anyhow, better we go down that road because it, he'll criminate this. that will be like Bill and Jeff. Kevin, <laughs> you see what he's saying? And he's allowed to say these things. As a single man, I told you in the other day, as, as a single man. You're capable of doing I am one. free <coughs> to love all those who love me. I hear you. Yeah. The problem is, uh -huh. Rama the Grabber. <laughs> <laughs> and Devon, the, can I feel your pulse through the shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Them fellas had to answer. No me. No me. I don't want you to the wrong direction. If I get married, a different story. I will be devoted to my vows. I am a man of my word. Then from your wisdom will be a different character. <laughs> <laughs> Blame that part of me. 
You know we don't say that. <coughs> Blame that part of me. We don't want to. I know you make a note of everything, <coughs> Kevin. Robert, the truth of the matter is, you have to come back to a place where the people of Trinidad Tobago understand what is right and what is wrong. Well, and when Terence Farrell mm -hmm. demonstrated to you that <coughs> you've put me <coughs> in a position where you say that you want to diversify the economy, and we've been working at that, and you've done nothing with it, Stop wasting my no, time. No, I agree with Stop that. Stop wasting my time. It, it is like... It is when like, Michael Phillips told Daryl Smith, and I know it had to do with that whole madness in Taruba, you say, see this? Okay, you okay. sign up for no, that? I agree. I mean, I agree with you that there are a number of people whom we have to accept have a level of Men national consciousness. And women of integrity. Yeah. When the president who just passed away said that they couldn't find men of character to serve on the Integrity Commission... I thought, what a sad indictment in this country. It's not that they don't exist. We have a lot of people of integrity mm -hmm. and character, but a lot of them wants nothing to do with the PNM and the UNC because they understand, and this is the, this is the rub. 55 years are finger pointing. You didn't fix it, no. You didn't fix it, no. You do it, no. You do it. But it's 55 years are too all you. And both all you do it. And both all you fail to do it. So we come full 360 degrees. <clears throat> two, two things. Back to the young man that lost his life unnecessarily. May but he still rest yeah, in but, peace. But, but there are many more. There are May many, he. There are many, and I didn't say that about your president. There are but many, you see that young man? You see people who had opportunity in life and squander it? <clears throat> they're not going to get that from There him. are many others. That young man. There are many to others. To his family. There he are rest many in peace. others who have also suffered a similar fate like him. And yes. Okay? We failed so them. So this, this is not a one offer, right? We failed them. Well, there is a failure on multiple sides. We, are, we the people, are trying to make a failure. Yes, well, we, we fail. We are failing on a lot of things. I'll ask a question. If you were the but commissioner no, no, no. of police, if you were the commissioner of police today, and you realize <clears throat> that one phone call, a $10 million, internal affairs, New York City Police Department, or the FBI, or Scotland Yard, or whoever you choose to go internationally where there are functional investigatory organizations, and they say, come, I want you to find in my 5,000-man police service all the corrupt and criminal elements. Just find them for me. You, you so remember? that you could suspend and engage prosecution. But what you are doing is cleaning up the police service. And that could be done in three to six months. I want to ask you something. If you were Kamala Prasad Bissessa and you didn't do it, should I vote you back into office? No, you can't. If you are Keith Rowley and you're still not doing it, should I consider you, you my prime minister? At all. That is the point they're trying to make. Yes, but here is the bigger question. The people are saying, well, who? What do you mean by well, who? That on the 20th of me. January, there's a massive rally in Chaguanas. Trinidadians have to come out today at 3 o'clock. At 3 o'clock, who presenting themselves? Because we have to keep trying until we find the solution. When Edison, the media laugh at him, he brought them <clears> to <throat> the unveiling of the electric light bulb, and it failed. <clears throat> and they laugh at him, they publish an next circus from Edison. Edison said, I didn't fail. I know 2,000 ways not to make a light bulb. But he eventually got it, and the lights on in here. Yeah. And the truth of the matter is, we, the people of Chan Tobago, we have to continue trying until we get it right. And to keep going from abuser and abuser, abuser to abuser, Think is not yeah, the solution. That, that changing the That's abuse. musical chairs of abuse. Yeah, yeah. That is not the solution. We still didn't find, we still didn't come to a concurrence with regards to the young man who lost his life. I still say to you, where, is, where, are, where are or where is his parents? The African proverb that it takes a village to raise a child is truer now than it ever was. That still doesn't answer It is question. truer now than it ever was. Is there any and indication? Because the, the reality is, I understand he was being brought up by somebody in the area. How it is as we get all this information, but we can't get Nazim Basham AD oil information. This little black boy, we know his line, length, and inclination, but we can't know nothing about AV oil. Why we can't get the information on okay. Bridgemont's Limited? Why we can't get that? I'm asking this. National Insurance Board took $37 million of poor people health care contributions and gave it to a discotheque from Mr. Barra. Um, before I say that. And the discotheque I mean, was allowed to apologize, not apologize, to justify their use of $37 million tax-free funds to invest in a discotheque in a country where health care is stumbling. Can I ask you a question? You can. How many times have you gone there? Where? The same discussion. Never. It didn't go. Absolutely never. You, sure? <laughs> you see, that's why I do party at night, and people know I do my live video at night, so they know that I am wrong. And I ain't doing it live from Siam. <laughs> How come one Woodbrook place Gosh, boy, end up 
one big discotheque now. It's a bar district. That was never the plan, and it was never the vision. The people who live in upstairs in one roadblock place have to look down every night at what is becoming Western neighborhood. Well, as a matter of fact, it is not fully populated. It is only about maybe 25% occupied. 75% of it is free. And of that 25%, how much of them got apartments from political patronage under Mark Kazi? I can't, I can't But we should do an I audit because it's national funds. You see, and this is what I want to tell people. Yeah. <laughs> and it will sound petty to say it now. Yeah. But a progressive empowerment party government will audit all of that. Because if you benefited from it, Robert, not you, because I know you're not a fellow that will take advantage, but those who did will have to pay. The people of the country will hear what they'll say. Same story, just a different person Robert, singing it in a different When key. we told Trinidadians that you, you're supposed to be able to make sure that everybody in this country had access to home ownership, even minimum wage earners, they, they questioned it. We said, how would you do it? We said, zero deposit, zero interest for 30 years, up to $1.5 million. Where will that money come from? We could use the same funds that we use for bailouts, like click on all that foolishness. The science tells us that <coughs> if everybody has access to home ownership, crime comes down. So the $9 billion that we put in every year in national security, you cut that in half. The $2.5 billion that they say go into social development that doesn't, bring that too. And the billions that are being spent on HDC stunting to make finances fat, cancel that and bring that money along. But we're getting houses for this price. And when we show them, it gone viral. And people understand that you can build a house, a starter home, for $100,000. That, that is a fact. It's not, uh, not So you could build a starter home for $100,000. And if you give the average KFC cashier, the average sub Subway sandwich maker, the average road builder, the average baton twirler, m floor mopper, you give them the chance to own their home and raise their family, they could go to work now with dignity. On $100,000, zero deposit, zero interest for 30 years, your mortgage payment is $477 a month. You're making twenty-two fifty minimum wage in that one job, and I just solved one of your life's critical problems. I don't dispute that that is an option to solve any problem. The, the question still has not been answered. Where are the parents for this young man that lost his life? You're dealing in a micro level, and I deal in macro. I say fix the whole country and prevent, prevent any more of him from happening. No, but more of him will happen because at the end of the day, you didn't take care of where the problem starts. You're, yeah, trying, you to solve, have a you're trying to solve the problem. You're trying to solve the problem after the problem. You have to solve the problem before the problem. How and many, that means what that percentage of the people who are born in this world are planned? I, I don't have a clue. Where maybe think? we need I Where think? Know, maybe one percent. So are you are, are we going to go and we're gonna say that from now on you have to reach a certain financial threshold? No, I didn't say that. What I am saying Before is Before you can that make a child? We must we must liberate the woman to get the woman to fully appreciate and understand the responsibilities the day, of a woman that, that the day she conceives she must make sure that she follows the Prime Minister's instructions. Be careful with the man that you sleep with. Because at the end of the day... I don't know what he said. He said, be careful with the man you choose. Okay, well, and I think, he finding out now, I think he's finding out now he didn't choose his man wisely. Well, it's quite possible, but that's not the issue still. And the, that, that just as, you know, you, you're just like him. No, nah, don't say You're that. Creating a fly in the ointment to create a diet. That is not true. No, that's not true. Get it was foolishness. It was foolishness. And where is the women's league of, for, for, of, of the PNM? All of those, say? You know, when you start looking at that, it will be one long thread from where I have started to infinity. But Rowley Mother Conk is a problem for society, but your prime minister telling women, <clears throat> choose your man wisely. Okay, 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 okay. Take right. That does not I don't even want to discuss him. That does I think he is a running joke. In that, fact, that I think he's the punchline to the joke. Trinidad and Tobago, when Keith Rowley called him, this is what you should have been discussing today. When Keith Rowley, as the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, called a press conference and nobody took him on, that should send warning bells to the government. That the people have already fired their Prime Minister and they are waiting on the well, opportunity at, at, at to the, deliver judgment. Hold on. At the end of the day, you could say what you want to say constitutionally. Kevin, you saw any posts about Keith Rowley said this or Keith Rowley said that at his press conference on, on social media? Not one thing. 
Nobody cared. Nobody listened. He rambled for 49 minutes and nobody gave a damn. All of that is all well and good. It doesn't change the position. Fire him. Yes, but that is the nation's fault. Okay, because tell the, the nation. nation. If your ship, if you're driving on a maxi and the driver drunk, you wouldn't say, hey, pull over. Well, let somebody else drive or let me off. I agree. That would be the intent. That does not mean to say that it would be the result. The driver drunk. Yes, but he could crash before you get off. The reality that you're not understanding is that we have a society that is not prepared to get up and get. They did not have choice before. They still don't see themselves as having choice. They have real choice now. They have social media. So Samgun News Network and Massey Media can block them from hearing the truth. So they're getting it on social media. I shared mm -hmm. murder statistics for Toronto, New York City, and Trinidad and Tobago last week. Toronto, 2.8 million people, 69 murders. New York City, 8.5 million people, 291 murders. Trinidad, 1.4 million, 491 murders. Okay. So, so let's, that let's... post has gone viral in the thousands. No problem. So that means people so, have, so... I'm just saying to you, people have access to information that Sabgan News Network and Massey Media not giving okay. them. Here's so that. they have that and they're freer now. They're freer now because they have knowledge. And, and they still do nothing. They have choice now. Have... And on the 20th of January at 3 p.m. in Lunch Park, a political earthquake is going to start in this country. The one year anniversary of the Progressive Empowerment Party thousands of people will descend on that meeting you will be there and you will see for yourself that the people of this country are waking up and if we continue to give them real options and real choice they will do their part the issue they will do their part comes back to another one because while you have shared one statistic you have shared it in isolation of some other facts what is the poverty position in new york relative to numbers because you were making the point that if we take care of this that will happen i am saying to you that there are definite um threads that connect it poverty but, is the mother of crime yes but what is the level of poverty who how many people are living what under is the managed? how many people are living under the poverty line in new york how many people Kevin, google that now. are I'll living google that for you. under the poverty line I will google it for you. as per the population numbers you have quoted i will tell you now let okay? me google it because you might be surprised to find out that although they have a low a low propensity to murder it could be because they have more justifications meaning their legislative system works. Robert, is all of that. Yes, but we're coming back. You cannot just take one thing out of the hat and say 490 murders in Trinidad. What are you saying? I am Trinidad saying, is the third wealthiest nation in the Western Hemisphere. That has nothing to do with the issues how of the How can we have so much poverty? How, how we can have so much poverty? Because of the same thing you say. Why does Kamala Passad Bissessa, when she was there, did not do something to resolve that problem, to reduce it to almost nothing in the five years she was there? But she was fired. That and is she not should, the point. She should remain fired. She had five years to do something. Absolutely agree. And we have another leader in there that is given five years, of which two is gone. Absolutely agree. And the bottom line is that neither of them, neither of them, have a vision Absolutely agree. for solving the problem. They have taken no action to solve the problem. None of them have ever come forward and said, this is how I will transform Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago has 700,000 people living at or near the poverty <coughs> level. In New York City, you got it wrong. In New York City, I'm going to give you this stats information, newyorkcity.gov. This is actual government Go statistics. Ahead, give me the stats now. The report updates the New York City government poverty measure for the New York City in, up to 2015, as the details they have. The citywide poverty rate fell to 19.9% okay. from 20. Wait, wait, wait. 19.9. This is what they consider poverty. I want you to understand yeah, this. Yeah. What they consider poverty and what we consider poverty is two different things. Over there, poverty is your car sell your car this year. You will sell it next year. 
That's what they consider so, public. So we can't you qualify. Two, you qualify for public housing. You cannot okay. measure two different Wait, things. The state. Okay, I'm giving you the information that you're looking for. The state population living out or near the poverty rate declined to 4.2 percent. What Four, is the number? 4.2 percent of 18 million. Correct. 4.2 percent of 18 million. So 10 percent of 18 million is 1.8. 1% is 180, 200,000. 4% is 800,000 people out of 18 million people in this country. 700,000 out of 1.2 million. So if your point is that poverty is the mother and father of crime in Trinidad Tobago, I agree. I agree. And we need to tackle that. We need to tackle it <clears throat> at that level. We need to tackle that. We need to solve that. Yeah. And you cannot keep putting dysfunctional, malfunctional governments into, into office. Hold on. Hold on. Without a plan. Hold on. This is what the report update says. Poverty measures for the New York City in 2015. The citywide poverty rate fell to 19.9 .9 from 20.6 in 2014. The share of the population living at or near the poverty rate declined to 44.2%. Robert, the point of the matter <clears throat> that you are the missing... The numbers is the numbers. 44.2 to 50, is the difference is 8. Robert, the point that you are missing is what they consider poverty. And my point to you is, unless we cannot bring them to our level of poverty... Okay. Meaning measure apples with apples, the information that we are quoting cannot be correct. The number there is 44.2. Are you asking poverty line in dollars? We don't measure it in dollars in Trinidad. What do we measure it in? Lives lost? No, we do measure it at 620 as being the international standard. Meaning they say if you're living under $620 a month, you're considered to be living under the poverty mm. line. Is either 620 or 680? <coughs> The federal poverty level is fifteen thousand dollars. Okay, well, I, mean, I don't understand what that means. I don't mean. Oh, well, fine, so unless we can um, make make a make a homework of it, the man, because I would love the country. I am not disputing that we have a poverty problem in Trinidad. You know, I am saying to you that the reason we have a poverty Trinidad, both Kamala Prasad Bisesa and Keith Rowley had no bloody inclination as to what the hell to but do with the country. It's in the obvious. You have farmland growing mm -hmm. razor grass in a country and 7,000 farmers want to farm. At the end of it all. You have 7,000 farmers mm -hmm. want Listen to farm. Listen to me. It's only one woman on the bed. You can't keep jumping. And you, okay. Stay with the woman. Just now wait. So Stay with the woman. Women will disagree. Satisfy the woman. Women will disagree about you can't keep jumping, but that's another <laughs> conversation. Kevin? Well, once, you, once, your name is, once your name is not Khan or something like that, settle down. Listen. Canadians like the fact that we still talk about humor on this show, but come back to the point. You have poverty that you shouldn't have. This I country, am not disputing this that. country had money to make Dubai blush. Forget all of that. But you H have to H A D. H A D. Can you tell me that if we sat here and planned <clears throat> you and I the economy today? Let's look at quick things. Quick things, right? Quick things. Let's say we could bring ten thousand boats to winter in Trinidad and Tobago. 10,000 boats that pay in, let's say, 12,000 US a year. 10,000 by 12,000 US is $1.2 billion. Stop. Masha Briggs. Hammer time. Masha Briggs. Who is supposed to lead the charge to bring the 10,000 boats? Who is supposed to give the guideline to bring the 1,000 boats? Who is supposed to give the instruction to bring the But absolutely, boats? but absolutely, who, 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 absolutely, who? the well-being of the country. Who? The, but the government? No. Who is it? The prime minister of the country. Oh gosh, he, but I not the he, government. Well, he is the government. No, he's not the government. What is he? He's the prime minister, meaning he's the lead. When you fire him, the whole government falls. That's correct. So he is the government. No, he's not the government. All right, but let's pin it down. The prime minister has a responsibility. Correct. To set the economic and financial direction of the country. By by working. Well, but the Minister of Finance stole my idea and mm. put it in his manifesto because 2015, when I said Shagarama should have a marine university, Shagarama should have a marine university teaching people how to build boats, ships, marine and pleasure craft in this country because we're the only Caribbean island outside of the hurricane belt and we would thrive. We would do well with that. Shipping turn around. Shipping turn around to the world. We would do well. Cruise ship tourism to the world. Tobago would become the number one cruise, cruise ship destination on planet Earth. All of these things, they know. But the monkeys that benefit from this country being solely focused on energy, 
They don't want that to change because people would get people would get sense. People would stop waiting for oil dollars and they will start working and building their own businesses. We have an economy built on slavery, Robert. We have an economy built on slavery. We are not giving people opportunity to develop their potential. We come all the way back, you know, and we have to really tie this down into three specific things this morning. The first one is that while I agree with you that the young man should not have lost his life, we have to get back to the source of the reason why he ended up in the wrong place at the wrong time. Not run away and say it ain't their own, the government should I make sure. If you had brought your damn child up properly, like you say, and it is had nothing to do with privilege. I did not come from a rich family. My father wasn't a rich man. My father worked his ass off to get where he had to get. And in the process I get my no, ass no, no, but cut the, no, but the, because yeah, I did not do what no, I what, what I, I told. What I say to you is this. The state has a responsibility to make sure that but families... But the parent also has a responsibility Absolutely. not to have five damn child children when you can't even feed the first one. Do you think... They that, do not grow up on breast milk. Do you think that our society respects family life? Do you when think that, that our government and our policies, that, our well, financial based policies... based on what is happening in the whole world, you, I, that is not an issue. That's a personal position. Family life is up to you. You brought up your son. He came out a damn good child. No, but what I'm saying is that you should have access to opportunity so that you can do it. At the end of it all, access to opportunity is not free. You've got to earn it. Agreed. But still, you're not just walking, and when the state no, no, provides no, no, all then, these access, because I am saying that the state is failing, don't think that I mean that you support ten to be years able, of free education. That's not good education. That's for, whether it's good or not. Why didn't you take it and ten, make it ten, what you wanted it? Ten years, because these people don't have real education outside of the prestige schools. The rest of the schools failing. It's just like this man who is the minister of education talking about the book bag too heavy. How long now? How long? It, it is heavy for Look the longest. I walk in. I walk in this studio. I am broadcasting live on one device. I walk in with another. You trying to tell me this? You know, if we buy in these mass produce, it's an apple. You didn't matter buy an apple, but if you buy in these mass and hang the children on that, and you put all of the book, all of the work on the cloud, but you know why they can't? Because the education facilities, company limited, job is corruption. All them books in that bag. So we come. All them books in that bag is corrupt enrichment. We come back three hundred and sixty degrees for the. If the bloody people who is supposedly be the damn leaders of the flipping country do their job, don't do their bloody job. But if they do their job, we can. They don't do their job. Well, okay. It's the first thing the population have to accept. Indeed, we should take a break. We have to take a quick break. Here. People, we're gonna take ourselves a nice quick break. Calm down the temperature. Calm down, Calm down the temperature. People, it is also 11.46. Give it our time check. Good to see you. up to Take a break. We'll be back after this. My mic off. We on a break. Facebook, we on a break. <laughs> but you're right. We should do, and I will get that done. And Anne-Marie, if you're watching me, or Anton, as a research team, Let's get, let's get a document that cross-references Trinidad, Canada, and New York City, poverty versus crime. Let's get those statistics. You we'll bring it down to percentages, yeah? I'm not telling you that we are not off the trail, you know. <laughs> but how much off? And it doesn't mean to say that we shouldn't fix it. But we come back full 360. This responsibility of, tree, of moving Trinidad and Tobago from where we are to where we want to be, is about an individual. It's not about the country. It first starts with the individual. I agree with you, right? I agree with you there. But then you've made the decision to make proper choices, <clears throat> and <clears throat> all your choices are bad choices. Okay. All the options available to you are bad choices. Right. You agree. You've committed that you are only going to make good choices, but you are living in a place where you only have bad options. Because prior to yesterday, there was none. But as we move forward, there are a few. Right. So it's a matter <clears throat> of getting the society, <clears throat> getting the people who are the decision makers for the choice. To make better choices. Aye, aye, aye. 
And we can't do that unless they understand that's their role. Well, I thought that, that was the purpose of the show and all the work that we're doing. I thought that was the purpose of the event that is on the 20th of January to show people that they have a better choice and to make a better choice. Yeah, well, I, I agree with that, Phil. But it doesn't divorce people for their responsible position they must adopt in order to get to the point of selecting better people to do the job. We can't go down the road thinking that, and, and we can't let, let, let off somebody, so to speak, off the hook. When in truth and in fact, that is the same person that is causing the pain for the others. Well, that's what people tell me when I say the 20th of January <coughs> is an important day in Chantanago because they will be showing all of us what they take seriously and we'll know. And we will then be able to decide if putting our energy in this direction is the way to go. We'll know. At the end of the day, the condition of the country is as a direct result of the choices that the voters make. Correct. And, and the voters, voters have to make better choices. Where we have... Um, Val says Club 129. Was it? Four things to read. Give me one. Where's the other, where's the other two or three? The Kiskidi Project, um, Club 129, and the sales representative. And where's the other one? The sales representative. Sales representative, you know, you could keep in. We came up with Saran Abbey because we have people on file <coughs> who applied for jobs. Yeah. Only, deal, only deal with this one. The, you know, the Club 129, sorry. Deal with this. Deal with this. Forget the other two. So my team is what? It's Anton. They don't start compiling data already. We have a good team in there. 300,000 people living on $985 a month. Mm. <clears throat> but the poverty line is 680 or 685, according to the United Nations. Tutor appalled at the conditions of some schools. So who make any decisions? You ready? Friday the 26th is the day, people. That's the day when, for the first time, all the soccer stars will be at ladies' night out the food inclusive edition. You just think of that soccer star and open your eyes on Friday the 26th and you'll see them there. Be it Kerwin Dubois, Orlando Octave, Ricardo Drew, Ufanals, Iowa George, Patrice Roberts, just think about it. And there they are. 628 the Food Inclusive Edition, Friday, 26th January. Ladies' night out. Get your tickets before they're sold out. All right, people, Anna Rima, do you like to sing? Well, Club 129, Malabar Grove and Arima is the place to be for karaoke Thursdays. Every Thursday, D Dimensional Entertainment from 8 p.m. to midnight, giveaways and prizes to be won. For more information, you call 744. Five seven six six. So Philip, let's get back to wind up today. Said before we go, eleven fifty two, which comes to your courtesy of Pontypools. Let's wind up for today.
you have again the young in this man country, you have people in this country about if they tell you it's three hundred thousand is more and if the government could know that they have three hundred thousand people you keep asking for empirical data they have all the empirical data they need if you have three hundred eighty five thousand people if you have three hundred thousand people living on nine hundred eighty five dollars a month declare war on that if you have 30,000 yeah, illegal guns in the country, declare war on that. Okay. If you know 40% of the containers coming into the country unchecked, declare war on that. Fix the things that you know, fix there, start there. 30,000 guns in the country, take them out of the country. I want to agree with if you. If you were the commissioner of police this morning, and I tell you that we've secured the borders, we've shut it down, we brought the US and Canadian Coast Guards, nothing coming in free anymore. We are stuffing all the containers on the port. So yeah. they can't smuggle no more guns. Mm -hmm. So your job now is to pay a thousand dollars a gun and destroy them and to create two anti-gun anti-gun squads north and south and tell them here what i want them thirty thousand guns off the road in the next three months and that trinidad know that that's your policy that in three months we'll be building a gun incarceration facility that if you are caught with an illegal gun do not pass go do not collect 200 straight at straight to jail are we putting two lions in it does not have to be real lions, huh? No, I mean, at the end of the day, the reality is, if he could tell you, if the Minister of National Security could tell the Parliament 12 months ago now, because this is when I heard him say it, that he knows for a fact that 587 of our women have been trafficked, how did the media not press him mm. and ask him, well, well, how do you know they were trafficked? That, what information that, do you have? That's the problem with what the are their names? The Where do you think they are? That's what is being done to bring them back? That, that's the problem with the media because they really don't understand how to drill them. But that's not our question today. And that's not our issue today. But shouldn't you ask Edmund Dillon today, who say he didn't fail? Last year you told us 587 people were trafficked. How many of them you brought back? How many you brought back? What did you do? What did you enter into? What arrangements? What conversations? You know that some went Ecuador, some went Colombia, some reached Afghanistan. Who did you talk to? Which law enforcement agencies have you done joint ventures with? How many of the 587 have you brought home? That's your job. Well, I That's agree. your blasted job. Not to compile statistics and read it in the parliament. But he's very eloquent. Eh? The man is he, he's like a... He makes like an a... entire nation cuss. <laughs> he makes a whole nation. I hear the entire nation cuss the same time when this foolish clown... I don't be careful on radio. I don't keep reminding myself. I don't on social media. Say that a line has been crossed. Without, and look today, you have information to prove that this is not an opportunity. He had an opportunity two and a half years ago to say the line was crossed. When they cut that little boy throat to his spine, why the line wasn't crossed there? When a Sami was found dead in the savannah, why the line wasn't crossed there? This pretty little girl in Iams, why the line wasn't crossed there? This little police officer girl who they find in Silot, why the line wasn't crossed there? They find women bodies missing genitalia in this country. Why that wasn't the line? Why this is his line? Because it is politically convenient to make the statement. Because it gives a show of concern for a part of the society that they want to be, make believe that they care. If you tell Trinidad and Tobago today that secure the borders, undo and redo the court system, clean up the police service, incentivize and motivate the remaining officers, repurpose the army to homeland security, create an anti-gun squad in this country, zero tolerance on crime, while you are mounting a social intervention in the hotspots, you will fix this country. It's a dot. We come back to it's the point. It's a dot. We the country's back, a dot. We come back to the point. In your home when you were brought up, I am sure your father or your mother took a lead role. Absolutely. In the country of Trinidad and Tobago, we have people who carry the stat here as prime minister, but never carry a lead role. They are always followers. He is incapable. Whether he's capable, he is incapable, incapable or not. You've heard him speak. Has he said anything to date off the cuff? I'm not talking <clears throat> about the prepared speeches that they hand him to read. When he look into Kevin, the... Kevin, how he has called it again? Where is he? He referred to it somewhere. The script? Yeah, the script. He's, he, he gets he's the script. Him a script. Yeah, but when you script. hear Keith Rowley unscripted, when you hear him off the cuff, that is Keith Rowley, you know. Shit kicker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Shit kicker. Cat. Groomer. That's your prime minister. Not the bought and paid for Obama-esque nonsense they want to sell you. Shit kicker is your prime minister. Geometry. Geometry. That's Keith Rowley. Catman. That's him. The bottom line 
is Fire. unless yes Fire him. i agree 1.4 million people need to be in the streets right now and saying fire him that is our democratic right and, and we uh, own the okay, government okay, okay. So, we own the government we own the parliament so, we own the so philip we fire him and then put colin Imbert. we fire all of them no, that's not what you said be careful so, but you said that you drilled it to him i say <laughs> fire the government you make it about him you see this man no what i made it about is that there must be a leadership position in anything that you do Robert, is there anybody in that parliament on those 41 seats that gives you hope none of them not one none of fire them. all none of them. we need a reboot of the republic we need to undo and redo all of this to understand that we do not need the senate we do not need a president we need to get the government functional <clears throat> local government is a waste of money tha rha all that foolishness have to go how quickly you could undo and redo the Toronto Tobago police service imagine if you had case management in our courts robert where the judges were told that civil matters must be concluded in three years and criminal matters must be concluded so in we back up again hear this. Back, 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 back. Hear this. just hear this just hear this that the judges are told that if it is not concluded told by, by, whom? by the leadership told by which leader we back down to what i keep I telling am just us. telling john tobago that there are solutions these people there in that are parliament, solutions these if people there in, is a leader absolutely but they need to know because these people in the unfortunately we have no leader 20th of january in lunch park shagwana at three o'clock there's going to be a mass rally the people coming together to call the government to order if you cannot deliver fire yourself and that starts now. We cannot continue to wait while the while rivers of blood flow through this country. Well, we wind up there today, people. Remember that we at M1047 in 2018 have chosen as our team responsibility. And we are going to be definitely taking a different role in 2018. And we have started already with uh, trying to, should I say, bring back that understanding of how to create things in the country with the Kiskidi 2020 program. So look out for some of this information next week. Enjoy your weekend. Watch the um, roads. It looks as if though it's slightly wet. Um, and uh, take care of your families this weekend, people. Be responsible. If you're going to have sex and you know you can't mind the child, please use the necessary contraceptive. And uh, if you're uh, fearful that that wouldn't work, then use another medium Kevin. of satisfying your... <laughs> Kevin, 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 Kevin. Hey, people of Toronto, thank, thank you very much, Kevin. Thank Robert, thanks a lot for having me. 104.7 listeners. It's been a pleasure. It always is a pleasure mm -hmm. speaking with you. Um, to the people following us on social media, please, everybody, tell everybody, the 20th of January, 3 o'clock, all roads lead to Lunch Park. We are going to fix this. Have a good one, people. Up next is...